Hello and welcome to another episode of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it is a series that I am running that premieres every Saturday at 3pm UK time and uh, it's a place where we can chat in the comments, give each other some support, cheer each other up, you know that kind of thing. For Mental health is so important and it is so important all of the time but especially at the moment during this pandemic. So. I wanted to create a space where we could help each other and whilst doing that we can do our makeup and, and use makeup as a form of therapy so uh, yeah if that sounds like something you're interested in then I'm here every Saturday 3 p.m. UK time it's gonna be a chill chatty get ready with me just the same as every Saturday sometimes I'll have some new products amongst it to try sometimes I won't I do however have a couple of new to me products to try today. So the first product that is new to me is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Quite the mouthful. And uh Ooh, I was not expecting that to have any colour to it at all. But it does. How bizarre. Let's just uh, see how this rubs in. Oh, well, straight away it's got a really nice texture that's just it's kind of melting into the skin. Oh, it smells nice too. It's a really subtle smell though. It's not one of those overpowering ones that, for those of you that don't like your products to have a scent, I don't think you mind this. It's really subtle. Hmm. Yeah, straight away I think I, uh, I quite like this. I like how it's made my skin feel. It's got ever such a slight tack to it, but still, oh, feels nice. And um, because we use the Fenty Primer, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and I have it in the shade 180. I do think this shade might be slightly too yellow for me, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. We can make it work. So, how have you guys been? How has uh, how has your week been? I do have to be honest. Say I've had a, I've really struggled, um, this last week, but I did have a really lovely pick me up on Wednesday because I attended an online music festival. Uh, it's mainly country music, which I love. Um, but a friend of mine is a country singer, um, he also tours with Rich Hall um, in the times when they're allowed to. Um, yeah, so uh, my friend Rob was one of the acts at the festival. Well, online festival. It was such a fantastic day. It it was just the uh, the pick me up I needed. I think midweek on well, I say midweek doesn't really matter much to me anymore because uh, obviously at the moment I don't do much. Obviously, I have Saturdays to look forward to where we can all catch up. Oh, I think actually this foundation, oh, it's looking a bit cakey there. Please don't do that. Clinging to some dry patches. Yeah, I'm new to this whole dry patches thing. I've always had extremely oily skin. I really don't like how that's sitting there. I don't know how well you can see, but here, 
It's sitting really oddly. No. Maybe I don't like the matte foundation with the uh, matte primer after all. I think it's uh, it would have been brilliant whilst my, well whilst my skin was still that oily, but it seems to be drying out quite a lot at the moment. I don't know whether it's an age thing or. Hmm. Yeah, so this online music festival it ran from eleven a.m. to eleven p.m. and there was an hour break at like dinner time, and each act had three quarters of an hour. And in the 15 minutes in between, the host, uh, Tina, she was uh, running games, like higher, higher or lower, catchphrase. It was really good fun. Really good fun. And uh, something that I could actually participate in, be a part of, um, without having to move. So, uh, I think it was just what I needed. So... I think that pick me up was uh, very, very much needed. <laughs> yeah, all the acts were fantastic. So the host, Tina, she had like a tent background. She made it as authentic as possible. So it was like the tent background and people were joking about, you know, the queue for the portaloos and it was just so much fun. So much fun. And remembering to be quiet on your way back to your tent because other people were sleeping. I just I enjoyed it so so much, um, and yeah, if you like country music, um, Rob goes live on Facebook um, at my brain's dead two p.m. on a Thursday. It's UK time, and six p.m. on a Saturday. UK time. Each slots for two hours. Um, I can link his Facebook account in the description box below for if any of you want to um, check him out. If you like country music, you're going to love Rob. He really is good fun. And uh, there's his other half, Izzy. She's just brilliant really really lovely and we're kind of the cactus clubbers so izzy collects cactuses cactuses cacti and uh somehow along the way um just everyone that turns up uh, became part of the cactus club <laughs> they even have t-shirts that you can get which is so much fun um but yeah i will link rob's facebook in the description box below and yeah, again, if you like country music, go check them out. Um, and if you do, I will see you there in the comments because I am always there. I think this lockdown has been really, really, really difficult for everybody. But I think for kind of the entertainment industry it's it's been a real kind of kick in the teeth they've had to they've had to switch their shows to online kind of from their homes and uh I can imagine it really hasn't been easy because with a live show obviously you've got your audience there to play to a home show you you're relying on the comments um but Rob's really done such a fantastic job and Izzy just interacts with everyone and, and just makes it fun. It's just really, really lovely pick-me-up. So that's another thing that's helping keep me going. Yeah, I'm really not sure about that in this area. But never mind. So, going in with some concealer. Concealer? Going in with some concealer, I've got the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer and I'm using the shade Cool Almond. Um, just to conceal, well, erase my face. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, just conceal the 
the bits I want to conceal. I think this concealer might actually be perfect for this foundation. Hmm. An unintentional win there. I've also still been watching Lost and uh, I'm still hooked and I must say every time I think I get the hang of what's going on like something else happens and I'm like what what just happened there so <laughs> I go back to being confused again or lost aptly named <laughs> but it's, it's definitely given me like a, a little escape escape to another place um, rather than just staring at the same four walls crikey I don't even know if this is going to need powder I don't think I want to put powder on it or do I Ugh. yeah really I'm not loving the combination, especially considering they're kind of meant to go together. Really don't like it. Um, right, so for the under the eyes, I've got the Ordinary Concealer High Coverage Formula in the shade 1.2P. Um, it's too light for over my face, but a great for just brightening under the eyes there. Just leave a little bit. I'm just using the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder um, oh, I'm wobbling the lid all over the place I don't know how noticeable it is but if you've noticed that I look a bit funny it's probably I've uh, I've got my coloured contact lenses in they're like a natural green and uh, again green Green is just so calming. Right, next up, what goes next? Cream blush. I'm losing the plot here. Um, right, so another new to me, it's been sat in my box of shame for I don't know how long, is this uh, Fenty Beauty cream blush. It's their Cheeks Out cream blush in the shade Drama Class. So, Let's have a see. I've been really enjoying this uh, made by Mitchell brush for. Uh... Oh crikey, this is a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. I don't know why. Just going over a bit of the foundation brush. Well, in case anyone was wondering, this would be perfect for darker skin. Just saying. <laughs> I think this is going to be brilliant for obviously my skin tone and lighter if you like a dramatic blush which I do um but for anyone with darker skin than me right from like medium to deep dark this is gonna look beautiful because uh, it has got so much pigment so yeah these I'm really enjoying these actually these little cream blushes from Fenty Beauty um, I've got the more yellowy one. How many have I got now? Three, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying them. So yeah, what have you guys been up to this week? Have you uh, had anything exciting happen? Or, well, I say exciting means a whole different thing. Now we're in uh, lockdown, doesn't it? Or in the middle of this pandemic. Um, because things that we would have found boring <laughs> a year ago are now becoming exciting. It's like a trip to the shop is like a trip to the pub. You see people. Um, or I don't because uh, I don't get out. But yeah, <laughs> it 
if I was to be able to get out or when I can get out I'm looking forward to uh, kind of just being in the real world I guess <laughs> but yeah so uh, do any of you have anything exciting going on or I think like I said a couple of weeks ago we're waiting on uh, eggs from a couple of the snakes they are making us wait like really making us wait and that is extremely difficult for me because I am at the moment really really impatient <laughs> I'm not the most patient person at the best of times when I'm waiting for something exciting I'm just going to spray a bit of my so dope fixing spray from makeup obsession just to add a bit of moisture in there because everything is matte <laughs> very very matte I'll quickly nip off to do my eyebrows um, because they take ages and um, for any of you that want to know how I do my brows I am going to film a video as soon as I get a chance <laughs> So yeah, that will be coming up. So I'm going to nip off and get them done now and see you in just a moment. Okay, so brows on. I'm feeling a little bit more human now. Um, I do have a new contour powder, new to me contour powder to try. It's from UK Indie brand Peaches and Cream. And this is their Sculpting Powder Light to Medium, a cool toned bronzing powder with a subtle shimmer. So... Uh, we are giving this a go today. Oh, crikey. So let's. Oh, it's nice and cool toned. And not overly pigmented. It's pigmented enough without. Because with contour powder the last thing you want is them to be overly pigmented because otherwise you just end up with like a a horrible stripe <laughs> down your face that is really difficult to blend out yeah I think this is, uh, this is nice I didn't put on cream bronzer because I wanted to really get a feel for what this contour powder could do my hair needs washing so it's not doing anything it's supposed to do but I still can't wash my own hair at the moment <laughs> I have to get my boyfriend to do it for me which is uh, very embarrassing but at least it's my boyfriend and not a stranger that I'm having to get to help me in and out of the bath and wash my hair <laughs> oh dear I laugh because if I didn't laugh I'd cry <laughs> and I've done way too much crying um, this I don't know what to call it costing chondritis it's not a disease it's not syndrome is it a syndrome I don't know I don't know what it is class does but it has already caused me enough upset I'm not gonna let it beat me Yeah, I do have to say, this is, this is a nice one. Hmm. And it's the first thing I've tried from Peaches and Cream. I've got a couple of their pigments. Uh, their loose pigments that I haven't tried yet. They're in my box of shame. Along with loads of other stuff. I'm soon going to be holding myself accountable in the fact that I'm going to be doing an updated um, collection. I was just going to do eyeshadow palettes, but it's not just eyeshadow palettes that I have a ton of. So, uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like how this foundation and uh, primer work together. It's just, I think if you have super oily skin, like mine used to be, um, it would be perfect, but for someone who's starting to get dry patches, I really don't like how it's sitting. Because it's round here that's really drying up. And uh, let me get closer so you can see. Can you see all of that texture? It's like it's breaking up, like clinging to the dry patches. Yeah, I'm not loving that. 
at all and I have to say I'm very happy that I'm not going out today not that I go out any day but <laughs> I definitely would redo my makeup I don't know if it looks I don't think it looks as bad on camera the uh with the ring light and that I think it's uh it's very kind <laughs> but yeah I definitely would not go out in public like this so <laughs> for bronzer I'm using my Nabla skin bronzing in the shade June I love this oh crikey I love it it's not a new well not a first impression at all um I absolutely love this bronzer it's a very buildable one so you can get that really nice just a healthy glow like really subtle healthy glow you can build it up for a more bronzed look it's very difficult to overdo it I think you'd have to intentionally overdo it but yeah it's a really I think it's the, like the perfect color for my skin tone I do really really enjoy this one I like the Kiko ones as well but with them I think when I use them, I choose them more for the smell because they just smell so beautiful. They are really beautiful bronzers as well. I use them a lot. Um, and in the summer, I think they're going to be a better shade because of the warmth. I think for this time of year, this is absolutely perfect. Right. I'm going to jump in with the eyes. I do have a new to me eyeshadow primer to try. It's the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, the original one. Hmm. It seems like a slightly oilier consistency. It's very easy to kind of put in, I guess. I have dug out from my Box of Shame, my Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette to try because it's been sat there for ages and I haven't tried it yet. And hmm, what's the first colour? Sure, you know I think I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so I am first going to go in with Carnival. I know I love the formula of Ace Beauté, so I'm definitely not expecting to to dislike it or anything. Um, but today is more about just playing with makeup, just having some fun, chilling out, making us feel better. So I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. I've seen other people do it and I want to see if I can make it work too. <laughs> I'm just poking that under the eye. It's looking really crazy right now. I promise it will come together. Well, I hope so. If it doesn't, then uh, it's just going to give us all a good laugh, isn't it? <laughs> now, I hadn't actually seen anyone use this palette. The colour story intrigued me because, well, it's beautiful. Purples, orange, green, yellow. What's not to love? This is a really nice purple. I like this a lot. It's not going patchy there. It's where I have older eyes and the skin kind of moves. <laughs> I end up with what looks like creases or patchiness and it's not. Well, it's creases. It's because of my, my old eyes, I guess. Old skin. If you're still young, make the most of your nice tight skin because... Uh, 
because you sure do miss it when you get older. And I do miss being able to do the really overly full coverage foundation and everything. I used to uh, do my foundation so I ended up looking like almost a porcelain doll. All my skin did. But I loved it. And I definitely would not be able to do that now. Because I think it would take a lot of surgery to get this skin that tight. <laughs> and yeah, I don't want that. Not that I'm against anybody that does. The only reason I don't is I'm needle phobic. I'd love to have the skin there kind of tightened. And if that could be done without needles, then I would have it done. Right. I'm just going to gently buff those edges there. Just a little bit, just to make it easier to blend the next colour on, which I don't think is going to be easy at all, but it can be done because I have seen people do it. Namely, Make Me Up Missa. Missa's done it and it's worked. So, fingers crossed. Right. So, I am going to go in with Vacation, Ooh, Vacation, the bright orange, and I'm going to use that to uh, blend out the purple, I don't know if blend out is the right way to put it, <laughs> add it on to. These brushes from Made by Mitchell, honestly, are they make blending just a dream. I would definitely say these are my current favourite eye brushes. Yeah, I think it's really nice just to sit and have a play because makeup should be fun. Right. Whether you like a more natural look, whether you like a more colourful look, you know, it's uh, not something to take seriously. And it's good to try new things because if you don't like it, you can wash it off. It's not like a tattoo where you're Kind of stuck for, with it for life if you don't like it. This orange is stunning. And just taking that across the purple under there. I'm definitely going to have to get some more of these brushes at some point. actually coming out a lot better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to take a lot more work than this. Obviously it does take a bit but I don't mind. I just think purple and orange is such a fun combination. And with a bit of carnival. Okay, so I think that's about as good a blend as I'm going to get. So I'm going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then I'll come back and we'll carry on. Okay, so I've got the Glitter Primer on and now I'm going to go in with Stargazing, the orange shimmer. And see what happens here. I do love Osputo's formula, their eyeshadow formula. 
it's just so so pretty <laughs> You know, I know it's, uh, it seems to be kind of, some people love the formula from SPJ and others really don't. And uh, I really love it. I am on the Ace Beauté team. <laughs> team Ace Beauté? I don't know. That is beautiful. I just find the formula really easy to work with and uh, I mean orange and purple aren't the easiest to kind of blend together but these have and I do think it looks nice And I'm going to nip back into Carnival the purple just to just re-intensify around the edge there and also to kind of blend into the edge of the shimmer there. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this. I'm just gonna pat on a bit more of stargazing the orange shimmer that is exactly what i was looking for look at that love it right i am going to nip off to do liner lashes and possibly lips and then i will come back to do blusher and highlight with you so don't go anywhere okay so I've finished my eyes and um, the bright eyeliner I have on the top of my eyes is from Artitude Cosmetics it is the Cake It liner in the shade Energy beautiful bright orange and my friend Anki has been using the Inglot pigment drops um, to waterproof her so I don't have them but I do have the pigment drops from Peaches and Cream so I got some of this on a brush and just covered the liner. So that should make it transfer resistant, transfer proof, whatever you call it. But I'll let you know. <laughs> and the mascara is the Medeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. I love this. The eyeliner I have in my waterline is the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade, where's the shade? Peach Fuzz. And the lashes I have on are from Bunny Beauty, which is a UK indie brand, very small, very new one, based in the town where I live. So, uh, and these are in the style Miami. Um, I'm really enjoying the lashes so far. I think this style, I love how they're shorter at the front and they get longer at the end. I just think it suits my shape really nicely. Um, but yeah, obviously everything that I have on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out. So the blusher I'm going to go in with is from Pout and Shout. It is Boozy Susie. Oh, open the lid. And this is her. How beautiful. Obviously where I've got the purple cream blush on. I do love a purple blush. And you do have to be a bit careful. These are very, very pigmented, the pattern sharp blushes. Um, but they're so easy to use. And if you only use a bit, if you if you like a more subtle look, then just really tap off your brush before going in. But as any of you that know me will already know, I don't do subtle. So and that is me. I cannot recommend these blushes enough. They are just amazing. And Maria, who is the owner of Pout and Shout, she is just one of the sweetest, most lovely people ever. And yeah, if you don't see a blush, a highlight or anything in the shade that you would like, if you pop her a message, she is more than happy to accommodate if she's able to. 
yeah so that is boozy susie so for highlighter this is also from pout and shout it's one of her happy glow lucky highlighters and it is the shade lucky dice and it is a really nice purple so i'm going to be using this for inner corner and brow bone highlight as well and again if you want just a more subtle highlight just go in with less but me i like a blinding highlight or as anki would say i like to be seen from space so at the time you're watching this it will be today i have a collab video going up with anki so keep your eyes peeled and just use the blusher brush to kind of blend them together a bit more look at that so finally i have a lipstick that has been sat in my box of shame for what feels like forever it's an illamasqua lipstick and it's in the shade energy which is bizarre because the liner i have on is called energy but this is the lip in i think it's going to be perfect for today so let's have a see hmm. it's actually really comfortable Yep, I think that goes really nicely. I think unintentionally I have created a Halloween look, but I am here for Halloween. I love Halloween. So, yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to end it here for today. If you are here for the premiere and we've been chatting in the comments, thank you so, so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you are watching this at a later date or a later time, then thank you so much for being here I hope you've enjoyed it so yeah if you've liked this video please give it a like a thumbs up it really helps me out and if you're new around here then I hope you'll consider sticking around I do a lot of colorful looks um, as you can see I am a massive color lover I'm also a massive supporter of indie brands um, I think that's so so important and I also run this Karma Chameleon series and I am here at 3pm UK time every Saturday with a chilled get ready with me kind of support group, chat group, whatever you want to call it, do our makeup together. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload. So yeah, thank you again for being here. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.